Dear viewers, in our previous study, we described that how we can determine type of enzyme inhibition when we have in vitro data of our kinetic studies in which we described that we take different concentrations of substrate and we determine different with different concentrations of inhibitor then we plot a line weaver bark plot which is inverse or double reciprocal plot and it is inverse of substrate concentration and along y-axis it is inverse of our uh, activity of the enzyme or rate of the enzyme which is 1 over V. Today we are going to discuss that uh, how we determine non-competitive inhibition or if we have a non-competitive inhibition then how we will determine our inhibition constant value which is Ki value. During non-inhibitor, non-competitive inhibition, the inhibitor binds enzyme substrate complex or without enzyme substrate complex but uh, it is independent of the substrate concentration. So substrate concentration uh, doesn't is involved during inhibition. So it is so it is not a competitive inhibition or uncompetitive inhibition where substrate concentration must be required for the inhibition of our enzyme. In this case, Vmax is going to decrease as long as we have the uh, increased inhibitor concentration and Km remains unchanged. So we are going to analyze our data, our graph through graph pad prism. And here, if we look at here, these are the <coughs> these are the Vmax value, which are the y-intercept values of our data. And here, where this uh, these lines matches the x-axis, uh, here will be the Km value or the Michaelis constant. So in case of non-competitive inhibitor, uh, it, it remains same, it is unchanged, but in case of uh, this inhibition, as we increase the inhibitor concentration, the Vmax is going to decrease more. So now we are going to discuss it from very initial. So here we have the data of our substrate concentration and then these are the inhibitor concentrations which are plotted on the y-axis. So we should remember that we are, we will make a xy plot or xy uh, table format. We can uh, make some other formats of our table like group or column. So, but here we will take xy format in which on x-axis we will take the inverse of substrate concentration and on y-axis we will take inverse of the enzyme rate which is 1 over V. So, these are the uh, data obtained uh, from the uh, spectrum X or uh, through lambda max we observe the OD or optical density values so we can uh, put here these values by taking inverse of that value. So here the control is the without inhibitor and then we have inhibitor with increased concentration. Now after this by plotting this we will go to analyze, analyze data and simple linear regression we will use here and as I have already plotted so we can analyze it again the table and new result sheet or change the parameters of the existing analysis and here in our previous video I have mistakenly uh, told you that uh, here we will uh, check this value force the line go through zero but uh, uh, it should not be checked because uh, we will uh, remain our data as it is that where from where it passes through x axis or, or y axis so but uh, we didn't uh, force it or we will not force it to pass through x r y uh, zero values so this should be unchecked 
and here we will make checked and uh, here we will put minus 2 or minus 3 value so that our data passes through the uh, y or uh, value and goes to the minus x value because of the uh, because here we will get minus k value of our curve and the lines will cross from the y axis so this is important parameter and now here it is our slope value y intercept which is the uh, lambda max value which is going to change here like here and uh, it is the x intercept which is the uh, minus km value and one hour slope is here and uh, if we look at the graph so here is our graph so it represents that uh, it is non-competitive type of inhibition So here we can change our data that uh, either the type of graph we can write here that like here it is the non-competitive type and on y-axis we are going to change here that it is one our v value and uh, we can also represent unit here so we can also represent this one over v like here it is one over v milli unit per minute and uh, it crosses and here we have km value we can change here the x axis ticks so automatically we will uncheck this then we can make this that from mix minimum to maximum value and the here is the tick interval and we are going to make it true apply now it is from 2 4 6 8 and 10 similarly we can click here and by clicking here we can also change the value on y axis so these from minimum to maximum we can change here and also we can make major tick intervals and starting from minus 5 at y axis and we can also change these parameters now it is on minus y and minus x axis so these lines will cross to these here we have the uh, concentrations of inhibitor we can also make changes here by putting here that it is in a unit so we can change here the unit like here i am going to write here it is in micro molar and uh, for all these uh, we can here we can change the style that is it should be times new roman and the font should be 12 and either it is bold or not or it is superscript or subscript italic or it is not italic so we can use here the uh, it is in power or it is in subscript <coughs> we can also make a text box text box here and uh, we can write something if we want to write here so we can make a text box and we can change its value also so after this uh, we can color so here we have different colors or we have more color schemes like here we have more, more color schemes and I usually use from here that is candy bright so it is the candy bright color so here is the candy bright color and we can also change the x axis or y axis or we can here we can by double clicking on this so we can titles and fonts so here we can show show x titles x axis titles y axis titles and fonts and distance and also we can <coughs> change here the 
other values and but for this we can also uh, here we can also make it times new roman like here we can change it to times new roman <coughs> so after this uh, we now we will discuss that how we can determine the inhibition constant or ki value so for this we will plot another another plot so in this case uh, we will plot the on x-axis we will plot substrate concentration and on y-axis we will plus we will plot the uh, enzyme activity in presence of different concentrations of inhibitor so here the inhibitor concentration is zero so it will be control value and here so these are not one over v these are only v values like michaelis menten equation like michaelis graph we use this type of data that is substrate concentration on x-axis and rate of enzyme activity on the y-axis so after making this table like here uh, it is i will show here from it is starting from zero so it should be from zero to and uh, so uh, on the on the title here on each column we will uh, represent the concentration of inhibitor and after this we will analyze data we can analyze from here also we can use this icon or we can use from here and now we will take non-linear regression curve and uh, we already make this but we can change it and here we can make my callous maintain graph or we can use here non-competitive inhibition so here we have non-competitive inhibition and uh, now we have this data with ki value of 1.547 so here is the 1.547 micromolar because if we use the concentration in micromolar then here will be the 1.547 micromolar it is the ki value for our inhibitor and uh, for our graph we can we can check this our graph again we can make it according to different colors and uh, we can use more color scheme and here can be bright okay <clears throat> so in this way uh, we can uh, remove our data from here if we want to remove it we can delete sheet we can also delete so here i am not going to i'm going to delete these sheets so we can delete it also we can we can delete our graph from here and uh, then the last step is the export of this data so we can use uh, this directly from here we can use type of um, image tiff or jpg we can select from here jpg we can change the resolution like i am using 600 uh, bits and uh, we can also change it into gray scale most uh, of the time when uh, you have to pay for color diagrams for publication you can use here the gray scale pattern and it will be it will be like black and black and white and it you have not not to pay for the color diagrams and it will be grayscale and from here you will select where you want to save this uh, file uh, file name and then from here you can select that i am going to make it on desktop to you so we have already had it on it so now i have so here we have saved file now it is in grayscale we can also uh, save in colored as we want also we can go to the file and from here we go to export and again this page will be open so today we discussed 
that how we can uh, determine the non-competitive type of inhibition and inhibition constant value or ki value and uh, in the next time uh, we will discuss uncompetitive type of inhibition uh, and the inhibition constant value and uh, after that we will also discuss that how we can determine or why we can calculate inhibition constant or ki value from ic50 values if we have ic50 values we can also uh, determine the inhibition constant or ki value